Hi, this is Catherine Rosine with Board Game Geek TV. I'm sitting here with Yunni Yusala hey. from Play More Games, and he's here to talk about Race to the North Pole. Yes, I am. Well, in our game, you want to conquer the North Pole, and you want to be the first to do so. But the Arctic is a harsh place. It is indeed. Uh, you arrive to the Arctic, which is our game board, on your ship where your expedition team members are. And your goal is to get to the center with your, with your whole team first. Okay, so the entire well, team. Yes. But the Arctic is very harsh and unexpected place, surprising weather and all that. First of all, there are competitors on the board. Yeah. If you are placed in the wrong place, a competitor might be in a good place to knock you out and send you back to your ship so you have to start over with him. But more so, the Arctic weather. Whenever there's a storm, what's going to happen when a storm hits? You get a little confused, I'm assuming. You, you do. The, the landscape changes after the storm. You need to re-adjust re, uh, your yourself, strategy. Right? Exactly. And just the options you had are going to change. And that's exactly what's going to happen in Race to the North Pole. Whenever there's an Arctic storm, the board is rotated. And everything changes. There are cracks on the ice. You cannot, you cannot step over a crack. Ah, so that means you have to reroute your... Exactly. And whenever the storm happens, those cracks are going to form in new places and you need to readjust your strategy. And also the options that you have in front of you. You have three cards and those are the allowed movements or actions you and can do on your on... turn. And depending on those three cards, whenever there's a storm, you have to get change a, what you're... You are going to get a new hand and you have to readjust your strategy all the time as you go. Very easy game to play on your turn. Uh, you play one card from in front of you and you move one of your pawns on the board. Mm -hmm. And the goal is to get to the North Pole. You can only enter from the direction with the boot symbol All on right. it. So you need to get to this square and play a card with the boot symbol to enter the North Pole and to get your guy to the North the scoreboard. And this you have to do with all of your, your pawns? Yes, and when you get your four guys on the scoreboard, you win the game. Now, you might be one step away and if the storm hits, the North Pole does not rotate with the board and that does take you around. On the other hand, sometimes you're lucky. And it'll rotate you to the right position. Exactly. So, very easy game to play. Mm -hmm. But How it many takes players? a lot of, uh, two to four. Two to four. Uh, but it's, it takes a lot of practice to really understand the Arctic and how to read everything in the game and anticipate all that. So it, there's, a, there's a lot of uh, replayability value with That's this That's great. Game. How long does the game typically take to play? 45 minutes. A 45 minute game. Yep. That sounds great. Thank you so much. Yep, I still have a couple of things I do want to say. Yeah. Uh, first of all, the rule book. We designed this to be a comic, comic book style rule oh, book. Oh, neat. I like Everything that. Everything is based on pictures. So we can quickly do more transla translations. We can, we can just do those boxes in different languages. And the That's whole really rule book nice. is one and two yeah. openings. That's all the rules for the game. The rest Fantastic. of it is setting up the game and other things. And one more thing is that this game has an optional app that you can use with the game. Let me just set it so you can see. No, this way. Yeah. There you go. There you go. If you use the app, sorry. If you use the app with the game, it's not mandatory. That's very important to say. It's very not mandatory. Important. It's optional and do doesn't cost you anything. It gives you new mechanics to use with the game. Oh, that's For example, normally when you play the game, you count these dots and that, that's how you determine when the storm hits. Mm -hmm. If you use the app, Whenever you play a card, you just click on the screen. And you see the blue bar on the bottom? It's Every time up. you click, it's filling up. And, and that's, the chan that's the likelihood for the storm. So the higher the blue bar is, the more likely it is that on the next go, there will be a storm. And the app tells you which, which way the storm's hitting. It's a blue storm. So you see these arrows yep, to the right. on the corner, and that's a quarter rotation. And you have the boats in the corners to align the board. That's it, and the player who can adjust their strategy best to the changing conditions will win the game. Fantastic, thank you so much. Thank That's you. Race to the North Pole from Play More Games. Yep, and this is published today, and it's our first game, so very happy about it. Congratulations. Uh, get it, the race is on. <laughs>